So then we are back with the modern understandings from the time of the Second Tabernacle Services where we find in the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as per Yerushiahu the prophet. We find layers of understanding of the spring feast, the autumn feast, and also the returning of the cities of the Messiah laid waste for many centuries. As we read then Yerushiahu the prophet, we find then these layers very true. And then when we read Daniel, Daniel the 11th chapter, we have then this understanding very clear as far as the movement of the nations regarding the time of the restoration period. This, however, it was explained before, as nations they are trying to come and they are trying to change the times and the seasons. Let's try to understand then firstly the 11th chapter from the Itzayelic lineage. So then as we read, the nations then can understand where they are coming from. Second chapter of Daniel explains then the statue. Daniel was then brought to Babylon and he was then involved with a very long walk. The people of the time they walked from the area until reaching Babylon. Then as Daniel was there he received this understanding as far as the time of the restoration period and truly these times are very hard. Why is it then very hard? Because the times and the seasons are then returning as far as the holy feasts and also the cities of the Messiah then returning. Nations obviously they get angry, sometimes they get frustrated, but then we must realize then the thousand years where then the Gentiles could do whatever they wanted as far as nations and people doing what they want. But then during this time there is a holy schedule on. As we read then Daniel the 11th chapter, as he was working then under Darius the Mede, he was then involved with this understanding of what nations would be then the base of the statue. At first, those who read, they understand as then literal. However, what we have is a reflection as nations then they are trying to control then the Soviet Union, the Kingdom of the North, they only will find frustration. Because the very point where they want to impose themselves on is the very fact when we read then the Northern Kingdom being a kingdom of doing whatsoever is required so then they can produce arms for the world. Let's read then chapter 11 verse 1 4. Then the kingdom of the north, if you read the content in context you find, shall then certainly come with a great army and much equipment. The language used of Daniel is military equipment or war engines. These were used during the time of the thousand years of the Messiah and then they used those kinds also. Obviously they were not as technological as we have during these days. But then Let's try to understand then a section of these. 
because there is the despised one. When you read then from Daniel, you find that the despised one is United States. Then, as we can understand, they are trying then, once again, having some sort of a control over the nations where they can't do it anymore. So then, the United States wants a world in a debt hole. They claim themselves as being serious as far as, as this time of the restoration period, but they themselves are not rebuilding. How many times was said when the United States was involved with the Middle East they shouldn't get involved and then they are furthering and furthering down in debt and they expected the world to be in debt it's simply a debt hole with no ending it is true that nations do spend that's obvious but having a campaign of a debt hole countries including the European countries and some of them are severely in debt and trying to come up with some sort of a plan it simply won't work Dragon Mart is opening next month in Mexico in Cancun and the products over there will be five times cheaper than United States so you can imagine the same products being sold and then five times cheaper in a place where Mexico is very nice as you can watch by television or then by computer taking a vacation and buying US can't hold the nations anymore as they used to do we find then the first beast in Daniel as we read these understandings regarding then a beast as a whole and the second beast you find then in Revelation but Daniel explains then the despised one the despised one is the first beast of Daniel explained if you read Revelation US is the second beast in Great Britain was the first they ruled the world for 800 years United States for roughly a couple hundred in the time of the deceit is over with that's why the nations are such an uproar there is a transitional time China must lead this new trade of the end we are doing the first transition later comes the second transition where then the Ishmaelites or then the sons of Ishmael then will to return as then the first traders now expecting the world to become a worldwide debt hole it doesn't work but it's not only United States Brazil is also in a very tough position and after making a very tough analysis you find that then they used the World Cup as a cop-out camouflaged and they made many deals with the very important petroleum deposits they were taking bribes they got involved in many situations and they've got those deposits then the most important sold and they did not build enough refineries the ignorance in Brazil as a whole is so big great number of people they think when they observe the fire on the top 
of the pipe on the platforms. That fire over there is gas. While they are perforating the gas, obviously they come out of it and they burn it. But some people in the observing, oh, they think it's a refinery. It is amazing the amount of ignorance. Now, not only this, the government is extremely unreliable. They steal and steal and steal and steal in a rate that you simply can't understand. Every time a politician, for the most part, they served for 40 years, they get a pension. Another 40 years, another pension. Another 40 years, another pension. So when the SOB then is done and retired, it's four or five times pensions for lifetime. But then these scoundrels are trying to unite with the other countries from the time of deceit and make a huge debt hole festival. They come around, they talk very nicely and use lots of nomenclatures and, and so on and so forth, but then at the end of it, they want enlarged governments, they want more important positions, and the nation simply can't pay for it. China must lead. As we read then the Kingdom of the East, it was explained many times before there is no reason for not believing. At the end of the thousand years of the Messiah, he was involved then with his holy cities. Then came the destructions. The cities were destroyed. There was a requirement for a new type of new government known the phrase as new world government if you study you find very simply was roughly a thousand years ago lasted for a thousand in a hundred was Great Britain couple hundred was United States and it's over with Now they're trying to force themselves as then in Daniel the third chapter. Rather than making a gradual retrieve in rebuilding. It's not easy because sometimes the pride gets in the midst of it. So then, pride in front and a dead hole behind. And the whole simply has no ending. The expenses of the United States is absolutely, in quote, astronomical. It's simply a nation out of control. Printing and printing and printing more money. Every time is more money. The world is not going to put up with this kind of habit. So then, when we read Daniel, we are reading then sections related also with the Kingdom of the South. Then 11.4 is where we are at. And then expecting then 11.5 when China makes a deal with the Congo. But then if the nations are upset only because Mr. Putin has done what he has. His situation is preordained. It simply can't change.
the situation is not reversible. Not only this, Crimea, other areas, other sections of the entire country must be reunited. Kamchatka also where then were the submarines were at previously must be rebuilt as per instructions. Then you find very importantly the nations rebuilding themselves. As you can understand, the instructions are very simple. The instructions were made for the people of the lineage primarily. In fact, when you read the instructions, most people when they read, it truly doesn't line up with them. Ah, that's true. The people of the lineage are responsible for the oracles. And it started with the time of Moses, or Moshe. He was in the desert, he received the holy instructions, and then his people were guardians of those instructions. Gentiles should not have and even have a copy of it. When Shaliak Shaul was explaining those areas for his people, then he came around sometimes, his people involved being in a relationship with the Gentiles. As he was doing this, salvation was granted also. So they would go around the world and farming holy cities, then they would save the Gentiles. Congregations are not the same as churches. Churches are compiled in a fraud. Congregations are those people simply interested learning the instructions. You don't have to give your money. You don't have to go over there every time. You don't have to participate However, as we do, for instance, what Shaliak Shaw has mentioned, renew your mind with instructions. So then you read and you begin to layer those pieces. That's what learning the instruction is. But the nations, they have come around laws of their own, evolved with the scripture that was never meant for them. It is true that the best is, for instance, having a family and so on and so forth, and then having a home, having a cat or a bird. Truly it is honorable. But those are not mandated. Now, the religion is so bad that they've made for themselves laws regarding these instructions they should not even have in hands. Those instructions were stolen from the holy cities. Some of them were sold, they should never, under any condition, be given to those who are Gentiles because they don't know how to read it. So try to understand how much confusion has generated in these last thousand years for having the instructions around the world without people explaining it. You find congregations very seriously studying them, 
But then, step further, you find churches. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Then you find these people taking money from the people. They don't pay taxes. It's truly a black market. Churches are truly a black market system. As you would when you buy drugs, if you use drugs. If you buy arms, rifles. They don't pay taxes. So for a thousand years, we only have received confusion regarding salvation and how many people are involved in suicide because of it. It gets the mind of the person so twisted because they are reading materials they should never under any condition have in their hands. So then, truly takes time for people then to align themselves with the simplicity of pure facts. Let's say if somebody joins a church of some sort, of some denomination, what is the first situation you find? Behavioral list. By thunder, if you then could do what the list states, you would not have to have a savior. You go to those places, and you sit, and have some sort of a song of some sort, or some hymns, or and then comes a person over there speaking in front of you. Not from the lineage, not understanding properly the holy instructions. But there they are, talking. And they people for a moment, they get excited. And some of them are so pro in doing this, some of them would even have their houses sold. It's a form of a black market. And they don't pay taxes. If they won't come up with an organization of helping people, that's another situation. Then they gather the money of the people, they organize it, and, and they give away then provisions. They are properly marked then they can deduct from the taxes, if there is a program regarding it, and most of the time there is. Now, involving spirituality in the midst of it, it's truly a black market. Firstly, then, all you have to be saved, you have to trust this name, and so on and so forth, and you must be baptized. Then you must do this, you must do that, you must do the other, you must, must everywhere. If a person takes it in a literal sense, it becomes a monk. Because it's never enough. And then you find a counselor or similar person. Oh, because you have this problem in your life, you have this problem in your life, and another problem in your life. Always behavioralist. And then people someday, they find a relationship and have a family. Then they absolutely want to be a reflection of God themselves. Puking junk. because they were mixed with religion they did not understand what they were reading and that they make themselves as holier than thou and then pointing figures at everybody 
Yeah, because that person didn't get in a relationship. Or because that person doesn't have a job. Or because that person over there, this, that, and the other. And if you listen to the criticism of those pastors, boy, oh boy. Yeah, because they said this, that, and the other. Oh, because they said this. It becomes a joke, and the scripture becomes confused. Some places are so retarded and ridiculous, all because they are concerned they have a vote because the color of the carpet. What kind of a paint they're going to use then on the sides? What kind of an entrance gate they should have? These kinds of junk. Always concerned with the cares of the world and then who cares what kind of a gate the place is going to have? Charlie Akshaw never had a microphone. But he was set aside and he completed his task. Some people are going to be talkers, some people are not going to be talkers. Some people must be silently learning. Yet they get the same excitement as far as scripture in learning the layers as those who are talking. So then, during this time, you find then the European Union in trouble. You find then Germany trying to get a hold of those ropes they have extended for so long or so far. Now they can't have a grasp of the situation. Lots of nations are a dead weight upon Germany. And they won't be able to get this situated. Where do we find this? Read Daniel the twelfth chapter. And the nations will to try then to come together and adhere to each other. Now, what kind of a tone he is speaking of as a trader, as a tradesperson, as a person of finances? The nations will to try to come together under a financial system, but they would not adhere to each other. The eleventh chapter is purely related with the Gentiles except when there is the word covenant. And every time the word Gentile is used in content with the eleventh chapter, it is related with the financial system. There are people who are expectors. They only expect. They sit around, they scratch their rears and let somebody else do the job. They sit around, observe around, point their fingers and give their rot of opinion. But they're always expectors. Ah, because it's not nice. Ah, because somebody else is. Ah, because this is ruined. Ah, because this and that and the other. Always complaining. What about get up in the morning and then thanking God for another day? Over having reliable people around you. People with character. Trustworthy. But rather people always trying to find some sort of a fault. Then shifting from Daniel the eleventh chapter as the nations are trying to understand they can't live in a constant forwarded mode of debt hole.
nations must be responsible. Daniel was extremely responsible and he was in charge of the entire kingdom's financial system. After the king, he was the person. Then we find another point extremely important in then removing the holier than thou temple of the Holy Spirit. Then you find reverends and then pastors. You know what reverend means? You revere the person, you bow down to them. The very name is scoundrelous. How are you going to bow down to a reverend? But then the word, you have to be reverent. You have to revere the person, you bow down. This is what the literal understanding of the word is. Now, sometimes you nod your head as a form of respect. Not every time, but sometimes. Let's try to understand what Shaliyat Shaul then has said. As far as, as renewing the mind with the holy instructions. He simply meant when you read the instructions, then layer those understandings. Very simple. And then in studying the word hypocrite, you ever heard, you ever went to some place over there, some sort of a church of some form, and that person is a hypocrite. Hypocrite is not even a word used in the Holy Instructions. Hypocrite is a mask. Do you truly want to know what the word Messiah used when he was speaking with those people of the law? He said, you devils. He identified the devils in them and spoke directly. You can be sure of it, it's not very nice hearing. Hypocrite was used then in many areas of the world, but mostly on Greco theaters. Isn't that where then the Greco Roman translation comes from? Should you revere a reverend? Of course not. Should you condemn them? No. Should you instruct them? Yes, should. Quick understanding. We used to live then in Texas. And then came a friend from some sort of a denomination. Well, testimonies. The testimonials of Yova or some sort of name like that. Then we became friends and then we were studying the scripture. But boy, oh boy, Every time the Itzayelic lineage was explained, there was a chasm, a huge gap. As a person was in the mountain and the other person was on the other mountain.
The Greco-Roman translation simply does not mix with its Aelic lineage, says the scripture. The Aelic lineage scripture is extremely simple. You read the layer and then times and the seasons, Leviticus the 23rd chapter, shadow prophetic events coming in the future, and you layer those layers. And then gives you a map of the future. Nothing else. Now, if you go to those places over there in those churches, oh, because then you have to be saved. Oh, then you have to give up your smoking, you have to give up your drinking, you have to give up then going out and, and going to bordellos and the such. You have to give up those situations. Then you have to be decent, you find yourself a job, you must have a family. Boy, if the person could do every situation like this, he would not have to have a savior. behavioral list and no person can ever do what's there and when a person does becomes extremely critical of others criticism is a form of judgment Sometimes you receive positive criticism. But when it's related with religion, it's always negative. Because people with those kinds of titles, they always speaking from the top as what they think they are. Then Shaliak Shaul, it was explained then yesterday regarding Timothy, he wanted Timothy to become his person taking the lead on his stead, and Timothy couldn't, and he never did. Because you can't make tabernacling for somebody else. Those who are enlightened, they study by themselves. They ask questions, they try to relate with the instructions, and they read, for instance, Ezekiel, Yerushiahu. Then they read Yermiahu. Then they try to understand the holy instructions for what they are, only layering those understandings. But then when you mix 2 Corinthians 12, and then gifts of the Spirit. And then people, they go around other people, they begin to have some sort of a revelation. It is absolutely, extremely destructive. These self-proclaimed prophets of their own. There are people that have this familiar spirit, it's a simple evil spirit. They go in the midst of other people, ah, oh, because observe this new spirit from your life, and then they begin to say some sort of a truth. Of course, they have familiar spirits. Those are demonic spirits. And demonic spirits, they converse with each other. And these kinds of people, when they give you some sort of a future path, be extremely cautious. Because it's not what God has for you in the future, it's what the demons are going to do with you. Yes, you heard right. These so named prophets, they have deals with demonic realm
then they walk around those people and they begin having those kinds of crazy understandings all because God has said God hasn't said a word was it not the girl over there in Ephesus was having familiar spirits and what she was saying was true What do you think these self-proclaimed prophets do? It's the same demonic spirit. And some of them are in the ministry not paying taxes for decades. It is disgusting simply disgusting then they go around they read the Corinthians and they try to make themselves higher than the others and absolutely disgusting should we understand there are some sort of relation with functions then absolutely yes from the lineage when the people when the Hebrews they come around they form a holy city they receive functions amongst themselves and when these people functioned they go outside of the holy cities then they teach the people and the teaching part of it is not related with only the instructions is giving information as far as, as what the true creator has in mind the testimony on behalf of the Messiah those are done by the Gentiles saved in the Messiah and what those are couple of situations firstly then understanding the instructions second teaching them the layers the understanding part of it is Leviticus the 20 30 chapter so you can understand then what goes on in a year then times and the seasons related with it and then layering those layers as far as healing it's done by those people with the function discerning of spirits those are done with the people with functions tongues interpretation of tongues and then miracles but then let me ask you this is it easy for a person then to come out of a thousand years of deceit generation upon generation upon generation after generation and then generation again and then another generation another generation on top of it of pure deceit when a person hears the truth it sounds like mocking isn't it but as the time goes on as they hear it over and over again consistently then the mind begins to reshape itself then what was so reverent before becomes a joke when this friend of mine used to come and share his view of the scripture he said it only his religion was earning the kingdom of heaven and they had the entire revelation deciphered not a word of tabernacle yet they had the entire scripture including revelation then deciphered he knew that 144,000 were related with them the only themselves would earn heaven 
and boy was story after story was even the first and second world wars involved and then comes another religion and then makes the same claim only they themselves are then saved and earn the kingdom of heaven and then comes the Mormons oh dear or a cult they have rituals over there that would get your hair off the back of your head standing up even the candidate for US presidency was involved with this crazy organization simply involved in a black market they don't pay taxes huge mountains of money involved they don't pay any cent and they are so critical of people in the black market and doing drugs and boy they are doing the worst now there is a distinction of a person being organized having a group of people organizing themselves and helping others only for doing it now there are people that have the desire of a soul control you know some sort of a discipleship is a soul control persons were never made so they would control each other it was the way the Creator made it when we speak of a higher being he doesn't control believe it or not but you sense when you are in harmony so then this story of so many these churches explaining themselves as being holier than thou is some sort of a temple themselves and then you have to do this then the other and then a list of behavioral situations in your life you have to do these and then you become holier than thou and then they lie to you in your face you have to have find out your gifting you go to those places what is your gift well, I don't know there are seven or nine of them they have also included gift of faith and teaching crazy 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 you read revelation there are seven spirits of Elohim and they come up with a couple more but then what is your gift you know I don't know I haven't discovered yet but I know there are people they have they don't have they have simple familiar spirit then let's try to find the holy instructions where are these areas of tabernacling or then making the temple of God a temple of the Holy Spirit it is so crazy that even ugh. firstly then Moshe was in the desert he was there with roughly 600,000 of the people try to understand what Moses had were not actual actions those were dreams well, however when he went and spoke with the Pharaoh he said every day if you do not let the people go we are going to have this dream and those dreams are bothering then Pharaoh 
because Egyptians were extremely sensitive to spirits and then dreams. They had dream manuals. It's not like today that we don't we don't even care of dreams. During those times was extremely important. And those dreams were very real. However, they never had taken place. As Moshe explained precisely what he explained Pharaoh, some of the people then went with him, roughly 600,000. Then they received their holy instructions and they made themselves secluded, already projecting what they should do when they earned the Holy Land. And most of the time they didn't. They acted scoundrels. That's why the Messiah had so many troubles with them. Then the objective was then, during this time, they would go out and form holy cities themselves, as per the instructions of Moses. But then they were granted with functions, and the Spirit would be upon your elderly and so on and so forth of the lineage. They would function, secluded as they were in the desert. It was a model. First holy city on the land of Cush. As we are during the restoration period, people should be more acquainted. Now, being holy temples as themselves, it's absolutely 100% crazy. This is what brings so much confusion, disloyalty, distrust, control, misuse, overpower. So then, People are not going to be perfect. Perfectionists are always annoying because they're never satisfied where they're at. Always pointing finger. <laughs> always complaining. But we are then precisely at Daniel, the 11th chapter and the 4th verse. When the kingdom of the east makes a deal with the kingdom of the south. Speaking of Congo. Why Congo? Because the Netzer, the Gentile Netzer is returning. That's why you have then the socialism of the Soviet Union returning. And they are very serious people. They are very acquainted with the problems of economics. They want a stable government, they are joined up with China, providing jobs online, and doing precisely what's on instructions. When China makes a deal with Congo, then later the Soviet Union rejoins with Cuba. And then the entire socialism parties of the world. This time is for trade, is a discipline of doing trade online. The old system of the junk of the thousand years, that's going away. Europe is breaking up as far as the financial system. We are not talking of war. We are talking the financial system of a deering is then breaking up. China is then replacing them. Then because of this, it must have a linker. Comes the United States with the linker. USD, Chinese Yen, USD, and then the Eurozone. And many other types of monetary system throughout the world. 
The whole system is done via online. That's the high knowledge spoken of Daniel. It is simple. Now, trying to maintain a thousand years of this city is much more complicated. And truly, after 2010, no longer works. So then, later I'm going to explore more than these gifts of the Spirit. And then understand each of them. And removing ourselves from being some sort of a temple of the Spirit. And then understanding what it means manipulation versus then being enlightened with the Holy Instructions. Very simple, so please stay tuned.